Uh, so in this tutorial like I'm going to like demonstrate how we can uh, use the swagger one into the existing one into your project uh, so that like uh, it will be basically used for the documentation perspective so here like basically we have I was trying to like uh, implement the swagger 3 for uh, the with actually the new version of the spring boot uh, light currently is a boot version is going to the spring boot uh, 3 point uh, 3x version so i have previously we are using with uh, spring boot version 2x but now i have tried to implement the same implementation with the spring boot 3 and with that also i have used the jdk 17 so with that one initially when i was trying to implement then i was facing some challenges like i was not able to uh, it was facing some challenges. so that's why i came to know that like maybe if we create some video then it would be helpful to other one so that uh, i okay now without wasting any time go to the like uh, for the how i have used this means how configuration which configuration i have used so as you can see from the build dot uh, gradle oh okay first of all so like i'm using the gradle version gradle and uh, the spring boot version not i am not used the maven yet but you can also you can also use the maven one so as i as you can see over here so i've used the spring boot version 3.0.0.2 version and jdk 17 and for using uh, like uh, as we are going to demonstrate the spring uh, like uh, the it's uh, swagger imp implementation so for the swagger like we need to create some kind of controller dist apis so that's why we have used the spring boot starter web uh, web uh, dependency so that like we can use those controller annotation rest controller all those annotation we have used request both details so all those things are coming from this annotation and uh, for this open open api so we have used the starter web as this is a new one dependency so that from here we don't need to bother about the like uh, any other dependencies uh, like previously we are used the, is, um, with for the swagger with the two dependencies but now there is one starter is available for the open ui it will t automatically take and care of all the other dependencies so there is a no we don't need to bother about the, all the things so only we just need to have this one previously also means if you guys are like implemented previously swagger then for the swagger we need to add some more configurations like uh, at the rate uh, like uh, swagger ui enable enable swagger ui kind of all the configuration we need. but if we use this one then for this one we don't need to used any kind of like uh, configuration as you can see i'm i don't have used any kind of configuration over here so only like uh, these dependencies i have used so after adding these dependencies it will automatically enable all the things we don't need to do any kind of things so now come to the like next part so for enabling these things one we have created i have created one controller here as with the annotation of the controller then like i have created two method one is the gate method and another one is a post mapping so so the gate mapping only i have used as uh, there is a no kind of like request body and the response body so uh, it is just a kind of simple one getter method here this is the like uh, gate operation so this is the open ui open ui annotation as you can see over here like uh, if you this one so these are the like verse swagger version 3 like annotation operation api response and api response so this particular things is basically used for the like uh, documentation perspective and for the post one also we are having the operation so it will just define like summary means which you are going to connect and uh, description like what is the purpose of this apis in the api response we need to define multiple like responses for example 200 means success 500 means internal server maybe if we from the if a particular api throwing kind of uh, any specific response code then we need to provide some other response code also so this kind of responses are also available we can define over here in the post mapping uh, that uh, we know all know like producers and consumers we need to define and over here like uh, this is i have created one simple like request uh, just to create a login and a password and same for the responses only response means only the like string response so as you can see over here without doing complexities i just focused on the only how we can generate the swagger documentation only so that is only the main part without doing any kind of thing so that's why I just uh, try to do kind of simple thing so now let's like uh, this is the only only things we did
only I did nothing else so now start this one okay it's uh, going to start it will not take more time that's the spring boot version means 3.0 and 2 okay I think started yeah it's started for when and uh, it's available under this 880 port so now go to the your browser the URL should be this one swagger URL and uh, this one index.html now if we put enter okay okay it's, there's a mistake HTML okay now as you can see there's one is a post another one is a get so if we just try to get one this is the that we have processed uh, written under the part of the description so this is it and uh, as it is a get so there is a no parameter we don't need to pass one he has option try it out so with this maybe uh, you can check like uh, maybe if we like uh, run any kind of project so for the api kind of thing we can check maybe there's a lot means lots of options to check that api is working or not maybe from the one of the like uh, fruitful options is the for the like postman from the postman we can check like this particular service is working fine or not so same like uh, swagger is also one point that uh, here also you can check like try it out option so here if we click on the execute then it will return like the response like something like that server response server is running properly so this is a response okay so same this is a get on and response these are the documentation purpose now if we go to the like uh, post section then like uh, here uh, also there is a try it also so i will i will do it later like first first uh, this is a request body like login id and password this is required here also we can like schema something look like a string this one and this is the example value and uh, like code 200 means successful 500 means this is the response body and 500 internal server error 1001 specific error so this all i have defined under this one now suppose if i try it to run from here also i can also execute it from here try it out okay so this is the like request body and uh, execute now i need to put execute okay from over here this is the response body this is the response i'm getting so now seems to be like all things are working fine i can also provide some dynamic values from here also like whatever the login id and password it will also work so now like in the next part i will try to means uh, means uh, I, as you as you can see from this detail i don't provide any kind of description over here like can, here also i can provide like in the field level also i can provide some um detail level like what is the purpose of these ids and these ids so this level i can also provide some kind of means details uh, so that it will be easy to understand like what is the purpose of this one and for same for the response also like what is the purpose of the response field so in the next video i will try to like put those documentation over here for the timing thank you and feel free to like ask any question and uh, like